first of all, don't ask me what possesses me or possessed me to keep my old Apple II and my old original IBM PC, let alone store them so lovingly in my garage in a box marked old computers. Well, there it is. See if it works. All right, so there's the pieces. On the left is the Apple, on, you know, then two floppy drives. There's a joystick stuck back there that's permanently connected because you bend the prongs if you pull it off. And that thing on the back right is a fan slash power switch because the power supplies on the original Apple IIs were notoriously bad, especially the switches. If you turn them on and off enough times, it would, they would stop working or blow up the power supply. Thus, that gizmo. All right, time to connect up the floppy drives. So on the left is the power supply. The next card over on the left is actually 16K of RAM to bring this computer up to a full 64KB of RAM. Then the floppy controller. And then this thing is the video modulator that would actually take the video and output it on channel 3 or 4. I'm hoping the composite video out actually works if the computer works. All right, the floppy is hooked up. I'm only going to hook up one of them, just less stuff to possibly blow up. That extra power switch is hooked up over there. So next thing to do is to hook up the only monitor I can find with a composite input, um, which is a Dell 20-inch widescreen, so this will be entertaining. Um, and that'll be next. All right, this is patently ridiculous looking, but we'll see if it works. All right, the moment of truth. There it goes. There it goes. Monitor doesn't look that great. Apparently the floppy might be dead because it's not reading it. There's a little close-up of what a modern monitor does. Hmm, this has hope. Well, basic still works on it. Classic hello world. Apparently, the top floppy disk is bad because there she goes. She's working. Who knows what's really on that thing? It looks like a bunch of pirated games. Anyway, let's hit A, see what happens. We're running Death Maze 5000, whatever that might end up being. There's the floppy down there. I guess I'll be patient. Well, it just took a little bit. Do you want to continue your game? Sure. Disc or tape? Disc. Place data diskette in drive one. Well, I don't have a data diskette. On to a different. All right, well, here it is running the classic Star Blazer. Um, I am not sure if I can do this one-handed while holding the uh, Cam or camera, so I may have to go get a video recorder for this. But anyway, there it is. All right, so here is a disc that I just booted off of it with a bunch of, uh, you know, pirated games. That's kind of the way it was back then, and we we're going to play Star Blazer. Forgot how to turn the quick loader on. Hopefully, this will work. Apparently it did not. Well, looks like the uh, floppy drive gave up the ghost, so it won't boot any more floppies. It's a little bit sad, but here's a little basic program, similar to, probably very similar to the one I wrote a gazillion years ago, that basically prints out prime numbers. So there it goes. Um, probably not the most efficient algorithm in the world, um, but it appears to be working, not 100% sure. So and as you see, it gets slower and slower as it goes along. As the computing power of this 1 megahertz 6502 chugs away. So anyway, there's the story of uh, powering up my Apple II Plus um, 